I want to give God all the glory because I started coming to this church last year. Before I came to the church, my first son, who is 26 years old now, moved out of the house. We were not talking for four good years. 31st of December, I was there, sitting down there, and the pastor now said, you need to just ask God what you know that is really, really bothering you. What that, that thing that will make you to come out and give a testimony. So I said, God, I just want to hear from them. And I did. Lo and behold, my phone rang. It was him that was calling me. I give God all the glory. My second testimony is about this money to daughter. A father took me to the court for contact. So I've been going to court since last year. Two weeks before the end of the court hearing, I asked the judge. I said, I don't know why I'm here. I've been coming here for the past one year. So the judge now asked me, what do you want? And I said, well, judge, you know what? I don't want, I don't want anything. I don't want anything. I just want to be set free. Lo and behold, my last court was last Friday. I went there, but my baby father was sitting down. Something just said to me, you know, something just said to me that, you know what, Dubai, you are asking something from God. You too, you, you need something from God. I just said to me, I said, you know what? I won't let them take you back home. No, he was the one that took me to the court, but I need to remember God. I need to remember this girl. If they take him back home, what is my, what, what I mean, what am I going to gain? So by the time they said to me, are you sure? Because in 10 minutes the immigration are coming in. I said, no, I don't want them to take him to court. He brought me here. I don't know why, but so we pay cut back, we will go down your passion for one. Or damn it, or that talk of the poor, but where I'm not me, you feel no sorrow, for the more to pay, need you by some one, you don't know, you 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 I look at him. So that's my pure way. So when I know me, your thing was me too. Oh, one pepper, look me. Oh, one pepper, dear, me, your polar, and me. Oh, one pepper. Oh, now I told him, no one stops for me, go fishing it. Come and pick up the book, or to get all along the way, all along the way, and if you want that to stop it, or to go to shame. I want to bless the name of the Lord because he's been faithful to me. When I got into Nigeria on Thursday, on, on the flight, when we got to the Mediterranean Sea, I, we had a turbulence, a very strong one at that. So many things kept, crept into my mind, but I told God that if I could get to London, I was going to give him praise. I, I, I joined my face with that power that works in the Trump camp back in Lagos. And I told God that the God of Pastor Ian Dewey would not let it happen. Everybody was shaking as if the plane was going to crash. I don't want to give God the glory because I did perish. The turbulence was much. This testimony is mainly because of my brother, my junior brother, is in Nigeria. He has really been working for about two, three years. He had an appointment to go for an interview in Lagos. He got out from the bus, he didn't know they were robbing. He now saw them pointing a gun at him. He started running. So a car was coming. The car now ran over his head. As they were about to attack him where the car had already injured him, they now heard the, the uh, police coming. That's how they left him. The police now had to make arrangements to take him to uh, an hospital very close to that area. If not because my mom took him out of that place, they would have caught his head. The accident happened in 2012, December, and he started working again this year. Everything is back to normal. It's not a new job, so that is the reason for my testimony. I want to work on Thursday. On my way, you know, driving, look at her. Mom, mom, one baby law, she extra, you know. Uh, I think uh, side one side of my head, no, hand, no, what? Ah, you must have been sick of it. Oh, do a lot of yarn. Oh, you shall not go for me. Oh, you got yes, you know what? My jacket got punchy. Oh, you wash a new me. And I went straight to the doctor. What happened? They said, well, it's okay, it's fine. But what do you pay? No, no. The Lord said there's someone here tonight. He said, by the time the sun rises, your son will be, it is the dawn of a new day.